evening. Breaking news. Latest news 10th November 2021. International news. Today 10th November is World Science Day for Peace and Development. This aims to bring science closer to society by highlighting some key scientific aspects and possible solutions provided by science, technology and innovation to some of the major global challenges society is facing today. Reports UN News. Countries are being urged to strengthen their carbon cutting targets by the end of 2022 in the draft agreement published at the COP26 Glasgow Climate Summit. A fugitive dubbed, Australia's most wanted man, has been arrested during an elaborate attempt to cross a state border. Afghanistan's ex-finance minister has blamed the government's fall on corrupt officials who invented, ghost soldiers, and took payments from the Taliban. Most of the 300 triple zero troops and police on the government's books did not exist. First NASA mission since 1972 to put humans on the moon's surface has been pushed back by one year to 2025. Reports BBC. US becomes the 101st member of International Solar Alliance today. Dhaka court sentenced former Bangladesh Chief Justice Surendra Kumar Sinha to 11 years imprisonment in money laundering case. Reports DD News. PM Modi meets National Security Advisor, NSS, of seven countries after a regional security dialogue in Delhi. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Russia and Iran attended. Reports Republic TV. National News, 2nd Biannual Indian Air Force, IAF, Commanders Conference begins in Delhi. Delhi Airport once again recognized with ACI Airport Health Accreditation. Reports DD News. FM Nirmala C. Athaman will hold a virtual meeting with CMs and FMs of all states and administrators of UTs on November 15th on stepping up investment, infrastructure and growth in the country. Reports PTI. An engineer from Hyderabad has been arrested over online rape threats to Virat Kohli's nine-month-old daughter after Team India lost in the recent T20 World Cup. Nanda Prasti, aged 102, was conferred with the Padma Shri in the field of literature and education. She raised her hands to bless the head of state president Ram Nath Govind after receiving the award. Ram Nath bowed his head. Reports NDTV. Center declares Birsa Munda's birth anniversary on November 15th as Janjatiya Gaurav Divas. During the British rule in India, Munda had spearheaded an Indian tribal millenarian movement across the tribal belt in modern-day Bihar and Parkhand. Inspector General of Police G. Laxmana was suspended by the Kerala government today for his alleged ties to fake antique merchant Monson Mavankal. Maharashtra CM Uddhav Thakre, aged 61, was admitted in Mumbai's Herkishandas Hospital today. He will undergo minor spine surgery. Reports Republic TV. NDRF team arrives in Puducherry as heavy rains continue to batter Union territory. Reports New Indian Express. Lakimpo Kheri Sit. Forensic report confirms accused fired guns. Reports Times of India. Union cabinet decisions today. Ethanol price hiked. MP LAD scheme resumed. Reports News 18. RBI Governor Shaktikanta Das sounds alarm on cryptocurrencies, cautioning investors on the potential pitfalls of the digital currency. Reports Live Mint. Supreme Court says, sorry state of affairs, in Tihar jail. Directs Home Ministry to take immediate steps on prison reforms and enhance management. Reports Indian Express. Tamil Nadu News. State has recorded 50% plus rainfall above normal during the ongoing northeast monsoon season and 53 of the 90 key reservoirs crossed 76% storage. Reports New Indian Express. Technology News. The UK's Supreme Court has rejected a claim that sought billions of pounds in damages from Google over alleged illegal tracking of millions of iPhones. The judge said the claimant had failed to prove damage had been caused to individuals by the data collection. The New Zealand-based visual effects studio co-founded by Oscar-winning director Sir Peter Jackson has been sold for $1.6 billion. Reports BBC. Business News. Tesla shares plunge for the second day. Elon Musk lost $50 billion. Despite the slump, Musk's fortune is still up 70% this year. Reports NDTV. Nika IPO, founder Falguni Naya becomes India's wealthiest self-made female billionaire. Reports Republic TV. Weather News, red alert issued in Chennai. IMD predicts very heavy rains till November 11th. Eight flights cancelled so far. Reports New Indian Express. Thank you.